Welcome to the Bootleg Zones. <laughs> Let's do the Galaxy Warrior Roll Call! Anubis! Magnon! Triton! Dino Man! Thor? Baltard! Spikes! Yig! Tiger Man! Dragoon! Oh. So, Tiger Man's legs feel slightly sticky. Maybe it's just because it's so hot at the time of recording this, but no other Galaxy Warrior's legs feel this way. However, no other Galaxy Warrior uses the orange plastic that Tiger Man does. They're sticky! Yeah, you knew one of those was coming. This is Baltard, the biggest loser on Planet Fair. However, he's also a master of disguise. Now, I don't want to oversell this or anything, but this might be the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> Have you seen Baltard around here? Nope! Baltard! How did you know? Ah, that's not an answer. Baltard! Yig is... I don't know, the combination of a minotaur and a unicorn? Given that face, though, I'd say Yig was an appropriate name. Turd's color scheme is unique to the 12 Galaxy Warriors, but once we bring up the couple outcasted Galaxy Warriors, he won't be so special anymore. I also like the Tiger Man figure, but I have to wonder if someone was eating Frosted Flakes and said, Hey, I got another idea for a character! It's it's great! <coughs> also, there's that damn Baltard! Who let that Baltard in here? He's disgusting! He's contaminating everything! Don't let him near the food! <coughs> oh, good! He must be gone! What a Baltard! Also, prehistoric Thor! Hello, a newbie! I'm new in town! Ow! Oh. You people always know my name. Um... Yeah! They do! Well, since you're new in town, let me give you a big tip. Stay away from Baltard. He's the biggest loser on Planet Farrer. But Baltard! Ah, yes, that's a response I'd expect of a stranger. So, what does it mean by they're the fearful beast? Wouldn't that mean they're the scared ones? Um... They don't look that fearful. Certainly fear-inducing. And I never thought I'd say that about a horse. But wait, that's not what it says their names are. It says they're Magnon and Baltard. But Baltard! Shut up, Baltard. You're not even really Baltard. You're raw. And Magnon was the devil the whole time. Also, these two, while having some weapons change, always seem to have had Raw with the Sun Harness and Devil with the Square Harness. So this is another thing that made me think that Sun Harness is for the good guys and Square is for the bad guys. Cause they're Square. Ha <laughs> Devil! Look into the face of evil! And look into the face of stupidity! Aw, he's one happy T-Rex. And now Wolfman riding a dinosaur! How awesome is that? Say what you want about the Galaxy Warriors, but they didn't let you do this in Masters of the Universe. You look ridiculous! 
The horse can't, though, as it features no articulation at all. Maybe that's why they didn't feel that bad about including a saddle blanket. Yeah, who's the loser now? You. Shit. Wow, you sure were right, Anubi. Baldhead really is the biggest loser on this planet. That wasn't me who told you that. That was the Virgin One, Anubi. Yeah, I can't believe you made that mistake, He-Man. You guys have versions? Lame. I gotta go tell Power Punch He-Man about this. So who do you really think of He-Man? Nah, he's not that great. Yeah. Hey, Power Punch He-Man, you'll never guess what I just heard about the Galaxy Warriors. <sighs> we had this conversation the other day, He-Man. I'm not Power Punch He-Man. I'm Galaxy Warrior Ra. Really? You look so much like me. Uh, no I don't! Hi-ho, evil! Wow! So why do you look so much like me? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Wait, wait! I look like you, He-Man! He-Man! I look like you! I thought I could be He-Man once, but they told me I was too damn ugly. Yeah, they were right. He-Man, I thought we could be friends. Nah, I think we should be enemies. Certainly. Oh! What have I done? Duh, I think if we just keep hanging back here, they won't notice us. That's a great plan! I never like hanging out with you, Tiger Man. Oh man, Tiger Man! Goodbye. I'm gonna go eat cereal. Your color scheme is mine. But Bob Tart! You suck. Now I'm gonna go ride my... Wait, what the shit did I actually come with? Pepper Cheater! Oh, damn it to hell! Alright, let's go! Pepper Cheater! Pepper Cheater! Why, ah! I told you, newbie, he's the biggest loser on Planet Fair. Never doubted you, newbie. <laughs> Let's go ride a dinosaur. I can ride a dinosaur. <laughs> Spikes, I've always wondered this. What's under your helmet? I don't know. Glad we had this talk. Who am I? Ow. Hey, hey buddy, you're kind of stealing my evil thunder here. Who are you? I am the devil. Oh, well I'm Thor. The real Thor. As a matter of fact, no. Impressive. That's right. I like your helmet. I don't care. We're in the same harness, won't you, Mop? Fucking hell. Ripper Changer. Okay, I'll team up with you. Daring heart of mystery, champion of light. Sweeping up the shadows, bald heart owns. Puff of smoke and he appears. <laughs> Who's that cunning mind behind that shadowy disguise? Everybody knows for sure that guys are in love. Here comes Baltard Buck. When there's trouble, you call someone else. Baltard Buck. Let's get tired of it. Baltard Buck. Yeah, screw them. Baltard Buck. These 
Tubs are apparently what tub tools are, and I bet you wish you could erase that knowledge now. So, obviously there's a lot of weird details to go over on these things, so let's start with the chest. For some reason, every single turtle has some kind of water creature stuck to their chest. Donatello's got a fish, Michelangelo's got a prawn, Leonardo's got crabs, <coughs> I mean a crab, and Raphael's got a frog. Almost in his throat. I'd love to know the reasoning behind this. Like, did they just get out of the water and came out with an animal stuck to their chest? Or is this like a Power Rangers thing and these animals are linked to their powers? <laughs> Could have gotten better powers there, guys. Then we have the fact that the turtles are starting to rot? I really don't understand what these spots are supposed to be. Like, did Leonardo wear his biceps down to the bone? Um, maybe these guys are all just zombified turtle fied. Well, except for Raph. He's the only one without any of these spots. So, I guess he's the lone survivor of the mutant turtle zombie apocalypse. Another thing that adds to the zombie-like quality of these guys is the strange bloody stitch detail they all have. But, I guess kind of impressively, they do all have this bloody stitch in a different spot, so it means unique head molds all around. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, ninja turtles! Apparently, evil leader Leonardo has red eyes. Look into the eyes of death. Nah, dude, I'm gonna go eat some seafood with my chest badge power. What an idiot. Ah, ah good thing we didn't end up like them, huh, Raph? You stink like fish, Donnie. Aw, oh, man. Alright, guys, I think we should be nicely barricaded in here for a while from the tub till apocalypse. What the fucking shell are tub tools? Dudes, let us in. We're not gonna eat that much of your brain. We've already got a big enough one inside these giant noggins. In fact, I think we'd just rather raid your freezer. You guys got any seafood? Dudes, that doesn't sound too bad. Maybe we should let him in. Marky! Ugh, don't worry guys, I've called in a couple experts on situations like this. Whoa, who is it? Who is it? Uh, I, I was talking about you guys. Whoa, Jill, you're here too? Yes, you're here too? Yeah, you're here too? Yes, you're here too? Yeah, you're here too? Yes, Chris, what is it? Leo, remind me to tell you this is the dumbest plan you've ever had. Okay, Raph. <laughs> I'm so totally not going to remind him. Hey, uh, guys? What is it, Mikey? Uh, yeah, those tub tools have totally broken through. What the shit? Tub tool. Let's go. There's no need to stay. Oh, Chris. Watching, and we'll see you in the morning. M-A-G-A.